hungry! And we've headed down National Highway 17 out of Goa and we're blazing a trail through to Karwar. Just as we hit Karwar on your right hand side, you will find this, the INS Chapel Warship Museum. You'll find a ship standing on land, which is kind of strange. A little bit. And it is a spectacular place to stop and take a few pictures of the big guns. And I'm not talking about Mayur and myself. This ship was actually a working ship in the Navy. It was decommissioned in 2005. And then they decided to make it into a museum, the third of its kind, after one in Vishakhapatnam and one in Mumbai. There are very few ways to truly serve your nation. If you can't be a food anchor, which is magnificent, the only thing better than that, as far as service to the nation is concerned, is that you join the Army, the Navy or the Air Force. What do you say? Some of us, of course, will always go missing when the call of duty is announced. Where were you? Examining my options, Army, Navy or Air Force. So all you people out there, Army, Navy, Air Force, Police, politicians... <laughs> politicians... <laughs> I can't say it. Army, Navy, Air Force, Police, hats off to you. Yeah, you guys are the people. Speaking of politicians, when are we eating? Politicians? What are you I can eat politicians <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> Oh, you mean food? There's something fishy going on everywhere in this country right now when we talk about politics. <laughs> but we are here to get some seafood and that lies that way. If you're interested in stuff that not just floats above water like battleships, but also stuff that swims underwater and is edible, then Amrut is the place to come to in Karwar. This is a traditional Karwari food place. Karwar, the whole region actually, it means, in Konkani, it means Koni, or the little elbow, because it's a little landmass that juts out into the ocean. And it's actually named after a little village 15 kilometers from here that was actually called Karwat. But when the Gora English shop came and he couldn't pronounce it properly, he said, Hamko Karwar jana hai. And that's why this whole region is now called Karwar. Yet another thing to thank the British for, sir. Thank you so much. Love hugs. Amrut khana, Amrut pe khana khana hai tum koni mein. Amrut? Amrut. All right. Come on. Come on. Amrut mein khana khayenge. Aise chalo, saab ka maafik. Food is out. And joining us is Bharat Dilawar, who's from a family of foodies. Third generation looking after Amrut. And the spread over here is absolutely incredible. And the reason for that, I suspect, is that one member of the family is always in the kitchen, is that right, Bharat? Yeah, most of them, we are there. Up till about 15 minutes ago, there were a lot of people. This place was packed, but at 3 o'clock, everything shuts down here. We're lucky that we're getting this post-shutdown meal. So now we have this place all to ourselves. As we say in the food business, it's always good to know the owner. And there is at least one gang of Rowdies other than us, as they're known in Karnataka. Thanks to all the ladies of the families being around, I managed to get quite a few vegetarian things also. And the number one thing is this very interesting thing, made from cashews which are endemic in this region, called the bebe upkari. The bebe means cashew. Cashew. And upkari means vegetables. It has a lot of coconut, as is everything else in this. And it has this, a strange fruit, which looks like a mix between a kira and a parmal. This is what it looks like when it's kacha. What's it called here? Tenli, tenli. Tenli. Yeah. Do you know like what a tenli is? Uh, that. That. Okay. If you know what tenli is called in Hindi or in English, write into us at yummy at ndtvgoodtimes.com. And if it's really nice, I'll send you one of these. What we do know is that this area is famous for its estuaries. So these little shallow areas of water with sandbanks where it's easy to catch ocean fish. This one, for example, is the black snapper. I've heard of the red snapper. I've heard of the yellow snapper. I've even heard of a white snapper. I've never heard of a black snapper. Is it local only over here or is it everywhere on the coast? No, might as well you get this in other places. But here, especially because it is found at that estuary, this particular fish is bred there. Then, then this is much more tastier. It's naturally well-fed is what we say about this particular fish. Right. Moral of the story is if you're naturally well-fed, you're tastier. <laughs> as you get into Karnataka from Goa, the food becomes a lot more robust. Just this fish as well, the black snapper. I mean, take a look at how firm this piece of snapper is. It's almost difficult to break and when you do break it, it snaps into half. Maybe that's why it's called a snapper. And what's what's that called in uh, in, in Konkani? This is called as kalwa in our local language. Kalwa. Yeah. So what this is, is the tisriya, small clams. These are the bigger clams. They look just like rock and they're sharp edged. When you see them growing on the side of the ocean, you might not even recognize them for clams. But if you smash them apart, out will come this big juicy chunk. And then the clams that get left behind, somebody asked them, eh, kalwa. And they climb up. 
Yes. That's because they're not very giving, they're selfish after all. In such August company, you think that a plain simple dal would be very shy, but this, the dalitoy, is fabulous. And what's special about this dal is that it's not overcooked. They cook it at a slow flame up to a certain level so that they can keep all the nutrients. And it is a really nice, rich, creamy taste. But let's have the local names for everything once again. So the dal is known as the da dalitoy. Dalitoy, and that is? Bebe upkari. Bebe upkari. Chicken 88. Chicken 88. Bangada Kit Kat. Kit Kat, I love that name. Kalwa Sukka. Kalwa Sukka. Snap mm. Shure Snapper. A masala fry. Mm. Prawns curry. Tinglor. Tinglor. And that? Sol curry. Sol curry. <laughs> Fator. More. Fator and more. Those are our Konkani names. Fator. Excuse me. The Fator and more show. I can't believe you heard that. <laughs> Have more. What is Fator? Fatori is a stone. Oh, a stone yeah. in, in Konkani. As a drop rocky. Yeah, yeah. So my name would be Fatori. Yeah. And his name would be Mor. Peacock. Mori. I can Fator. see that. <laughs> Fator and more show. Keep watching the Fator and more show. Thanks so much, Bharat. For talking to us, my hands are a little Thank you so much, sir. It's such a pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What's made this meal really special? And what probably makes the Amrut Hotel very special is the involvement of the family in it. So all of you out there, living the good life, living on your own, working at your jobs, enjoying your independence. If you want really good food, move back home. It's time for Rocky and Mayur's report card. Mayur, taste. Eight. Eight. Ambience. Six. Seven. Service. Nine. Agreed, nine. And value for money. Nine. Agreed, nine. And now after this wildly exciting meal, we're off to find a beach where everybody wants to get away to find some tranquility. And peace. And peace. Oh. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.